Week 11 was pretty much a shit show for the NFL. <laughs> Miles Garrett hit Mason Rudolph in the head with a helmet. Refs blew one of the most obvious pass interference calls I've ever seen. The New York teams were undefeated. And of course, there was the Colin Kaepernick workout. The former 49ers quarterback hasn't played a game since the 2016 season after kneeling during the national anthem in protest of police brutality and racial oppression in America. For three years, not a single team gave Kaepernick a chance, resulting in widespread criticism and a grievance lawsuit against the league. This week, the NFL threw together what, in my opinion, was a glorified PR stunt, but what they called a private workout. It was originally scheduled for Saturday at the Atlantic Falcons fa facility because no coaches are busy the night before game day. The NFL would call the shots, or so they thought. Instead, Kaepernick and his team responded by switching locations last minute and holding their own workout at a high school field an hour away. Only eight teams were able to send representatives on such short notice. This play of power just gave doubters more reason to believe Kaepernick is only doing this for the spotlight. Physically, the 32-year-old looked just as everyone expected, like an average NFL quarterback. But none of this ever had anything to do with football. Instead, this session served as a scapegoat for both sides. The, the NFL can now say, hey, look, we gave him a shot. We did something. And Kaepernick can say, hey, look, it's not because I'm not good enough. And that's really about it. This weekend didn't prove anything we didn't already know. There's still clearly too much distrust between the league and its former employee, and not enough interest from the individual organizations to take on a QB whose signing would come with an inevitable shit ton of drama. It's sad because Kaepernick's cause is righteous and important, especially in today's political and social climate. But I really don't know if he and the NFL will ever find common enough ground to start anew.